In this English lesson, I will teach you the difference between since and until. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the difference between since and until. Since means in the time after something else has happened until now. Many times, it describes something that happened in the past. Some sample sentences are, I've always liked to read since I was a kid. Since he was young, he's been interested in science. Since I lived in this house, I've been walking more. His English has improved since he's been watching my videos. Until is used to say when a particular situation, activity, or period ends. The thing in question will not happen before something else. Some sample sentences are, until they get here, everybody will be unhappy. Or, until you study English more, you won't be able to become fluent. He was not happy in any relationship until he met me. All right, now it's time for the short quiz. So try to answer in the comments or at least to yourself. The answers are in the description, but please try to answer before you look at the answers or try to, try to give your own answer before you look. Okay, so fill in the blanks with either since or until. Number one, blank, the weather has been nice. I really like to walk outside. Number two, blank, he stops complaining so much, no one around him will be happy. Number three, he won't give up, blank, he succeeds in getting people to Mars. Number four, he's been divorced, blank, last year. Would you like even more practice with English? Then please make your own sentences in the comments with since or until and I can help correct your mistakes and give you some feedback. Also, if you want even more practice, you can practice writing any English in the comments, and I can help you with that. That's all for today's lesson, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over there. And down here, you can sign up to get some free eBooks and other things to, help, to get more help from me with learning English. And down here, you can watch another English lesson from me. That's all for today, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.